Y'all, I didn't do a proper review on this wig when I tell you. It is worth $100. I don't know if I'm going to use this video to put this on Amazon as a review, but I styled it. I plucked it all by myself. And I also dyed it. And I did get a, um, what is it called? A developer to leach the knots. But I was scared, so I didn't leave it on there. So you can kind of still see the knots. When I had it on the mannequin head, I looked and I was like, that does not look like it took all the way. But for anybody wanting to get this wig for 99 I think it was. No more than 100 I'm not sure the exact amount, but I will tell you honestly, which I wish somebody was honest in the reviews, um, it doesn't lay down flat. Like if you do a middle part like I did and you wanted it to obviously have that invisible part look where it's flat and, you know, you can pluck the edges how you want, um, you're going to have to like get it installed away to where it lays down because that's the only thing I don't like. Um, unless you're going to just style it to where you're going to wear it up all the time. Because I could have did that as well. Where if you're going to wear it like in a Chinese bun to the top or something like that. But just using like water, shampoo, and, and mousse to get the curls to get how you want it. That's It's just it's not going to work. So, But if you want like a quick wet and wavy style. You know, you're going to the beach or you're doing a photo shoot or something like that. And you want that look. Um it's worth it you know the texture and everything is there it's 100 percent human hair but if you want that flat middle part look where it's it's hanging down and the middle part is flat it's it's not it's not an easy wig to work with you might as well find a wig that's already pre-plucked in the middle part so but it also came with this bag okay so it comes with that it was also packaged into another um, clear plastic bag that the actual wig was in. It came with a pair of eyelashes, which I have not worn, but I know I still have them. It might have been these. I'm not sure. But they put a pair of eyelashes in there. Um, they also put this, because I want to say... Either I bought this or this is the one that came in the bag with the wig. I'm not sure, y'all. But I have one that's... I do have one that's, that doesn't say anything on it. It's just pink. I can't find it right now because I've been wearing it. Oh, it's right here. So it did come with this little... Um, then for your edges I want to say it came with this one and I bought this one or I bought this one and it came with it came with an edge band um, and so and it also came with like a little appreciation gift letter or gift note or whatever um, but other than that I would definitely buy from them again it, it was worth a hundred dollars it wasn't like you getting ripped off or you know, you're not going to get a quality wear. I would try it on now to show you guys how it looks. Only thing, like I said, is I wish that the band was a little tighter inside the elastic band inside the wig. Um, but that's also my bad because I wore the wig with uh, another quick weave hairstyle up under it when I first got it. So I didn't take down the um the style that I had in my head already I still had like a track style and so um it kind of stretched it out a little bit more than it probably would have if I would have just took the braids down and I mean took the tracks down and um applied the wig cap I want to say it came with uh two wig caps as well because that was so helpful because the beauty supply store that I went to to make sure I had like um tweezers to pluck you know any edge hair that I didn't want on the wig um just all of the things I knew I would need when I was there it slipped my mind to grab some dang on wig caps so that was so helpful hold on one second y'all I'm trying to make sure I secure this to be a little tight 
tighter like it needs to. All right. So, I mean, of course, you can always adjust the bands how you want them on the wig. Um, and then I had different foundations and stuff that I could use to make sure that the lace matched and it was like more melted in my skin for a more natural look um but i haven't been wearing this wig with the wig cap Hold on. my head hurts so bad i have not been wearing this wig with a wig wig cap y'all so i'm gonna try it on for y'all with the wig cap on try to give you the most flattest and see I would do the review with my edges done because I just flat ironed my hair and um just decided to put in the ponytail so now I have already plucked and styled this wig by the way y'all and this was like my second or third wig installation so it's not just the most professional and it also comes with the little combs for you to adjust it so there's that side and then and so if you do your edges like I did mine which I will recommend I mean if that's not an option and you know that's understandable do what works for you but if you can use your own edges since the wig like I told you guys about the the cons that comes with it um, cause it's a, it's a pretty quality, decent wig overall, as you can see, but if you can and see, I, I've been wearing this one like a glueless. I haven't even, which I'm not going to apply any now either, but I have not been putting like glue, um, lace glue on the lace. I've been using, um, what is it called? Guys to be, guys to be glue spray. That's what I, that's how I've been keeping it on there. And, um, it works, you know, for like an hour, two hours. It's not like a permanent um, solution or, you know, should I say long-term, not permanent, but. So this is how it looks. And I had plucked, you know, to have like edges around my ears out, but I've, you know, I've worn it and washed, you know, took showers in it and stuff like that. So it's not as, um, it's not as laid down as it was when I first did it. But if you decent at just pulling, you know, plucking your edges out and pretty much making the part that you want and, um, and see, so you guys, that's, that's another reason why I did the braids as well, because for the texture look that you want, it's still not laying down flat, you know, how I wanted it to. I had to add these braids to make it kind of. You get what I'm saying, but now if you also compare both sides while I have this on for y'all that can afford to have your edges showing, you see how much better that helps the wig when you can just use your own and then you see what I'm saying, boom, versus this side where you more so are kind of like depending on the edges of the lace front because this one you got to be good. Like, that's why I said it's worth the price because with this wig, you do kind of have to have some type of experience um, installing wigs to make it, like, work how you want it to. Because if not, it's like, same old rules apply. You can cut too much of the lace off. Um, or, you know, if too much glue, which I've done that. I got, I got a bad habit of doing that, y'all. Too much glue can get on the actual edges of the lace. And once that happens, if you don't have the patience to just like wash it out with good shampoo, which I have some, but I don't think it's like good shampoo. Um, herbal essence. But if you don't have like some good old, good, good hard duty shampoo to get like the, ed the uh, edge control or the glue out, then it's like, you know, it's not going to look as natural as possible. So. But this is the review on this wig. I would definitely say it's worth $100. Um, long as you make sure, like I said, don't put a lot of glue and spray and stuff like that on the edges. This is best worn as a, a, a glueless wig. I'm just keep it all the way real with you. If you want to install it and glue down the edges to your head and stuff like that, then if you dye in it, you know, if you're going to dye it another color like gray, pink, blonde or something like that, then 
I don't see why it would hurt. But if you get 1B or 2, the natural tones in this um in this wig, I don't think that it's a good idea to, to do glue uh, to do the glue. I think you should just go glueless and um, make sure that the tint and make sure that the wig and everything, you know, that it can um, melt kind of good with your, your uh, cap. Which this one didn't. Yeah, I don't know if you had a chance to notice that. But from a distance, it kind of looked like it. But this one, like I said, I have to... Um, I have to do better when it comes to me dyeing the um, knots or whatever. Because when I was bleaching the knots on here, I left it on there and it was like 10 minutes. And when I went back, I knew I wasn't tripping. I looked and I said, dang, it don't look like it took at all. But I read the instructions and when I was reading online, it was saying make sure to keep an eye on it because it can over, you know what I'm saying? Um, not over. It can go through the lace and it can mess up the um, the actual hair. So that's what I was trying not to do. I was just so scared. You know, if anybody have experience on that, please comment and reach out because I was just trying to make sure that I didn't dye the actual hair on the wig because I've seen females like that, that wear lace fronts all the time. I've seen them where you can tell that they kind of plucked it right and everything else is good. But when you get close, it's like, why is the roots of the hair, you know, blonde or something like that and then that's because they probably over processed with the the um the developer and stuff so that's what i was trying not to do and you see i didn't bleach the knots at all like the damn thing still look like it's a wig um but for the most part like i said it's it's, it's a good quality wig if you're having a bad hair day and you just don't want to rock your real real hair you, you know i normally wear quick weaves or whatever so I get a lot of hair damage and I have a lot of shedding and stuff because I actually put glue, bonding glue in my hair, which I know is not healthy, but I'm just stuck in my ways and that's just, you know, the more um, affordable and convenient way for me to keep my hair done when I don't want to wear my real hair. So I don't know how to do sew-ins. Some people know how to do sew-ins. I've tried doing sew-ins on myself and when I say the track still be loose on the braid, it does not be sewed in tight. So you know wigs and quick weaves have been something that i've experimented more so quick weaves but y'all yeah, just comment and let me know i'm probably gonna upload this to amazon um because i do appreciate the time that they did put in with the packaging and making sure that it came with stuff because when i tell y'all i truly forgot you know if you're a girly girl you get in the beauty supply store <sighs> And I know the bitches that work there, I know y'all do not like that shit sometimes. Y'all, you know, people get up there to the counter and it's like you still grabbing stuff or you got to go back. But that's just how it be, you know, when you into this type of stuff like that. And so when I was in there, like, come on now, how could I forget wig caps? I couldn't believe it. I was so mad at myself. But I was like, you know what? It happens. You know, and I made a list, but I don't even think I put wig caps on the list. And I don't know how I could forget that. But when I got this wig in the mail... Cause I had already had everything I needed to make sure I wanted to install it and wanted it to be how I wanted it to be. And so, um, y'all bear with me. I'm just trying to make sure my ponytail ain't like flicked it. Cause I just tried to flat iron it and I normally have my hair in a ball. So it's bent in that, that way. And I tried to flat iron it and it's still, but whatever. It's been a crazy busy morning, but all right, y'all. I wanted to come give a review on that as well as just an update for Honey Tribe. Um, still moving. I have not made it to Ohio yet. When I say the enemy is trying to keep me from making it to Ohio, I still got weird ass stalkers and shit popping out of nowhere where I'm at. I'm like, why y'all people even watching me? Why you? Why am I even on your motherfucking mind? Like, why? You know, it's just the weirdest thing. But I'll come back with an update when I get the chance. Okay, peace.